Today we're gonna paint my van. All right, so I'm wiping it down with paint thinner to get rid of any extra dirt or dust that has gotten on it recently. Now make sure you mask everything that you don't want to get paint on. All right, these are the supplies that I got. Tremaclad paint color of your choice. I got two, paint thinner, measuring cup, or you can eyeball it, it's up to you, high density professional foam roller, mixing sticks, mixing bowl. Let's get started. Step one, open the paint. Pour the paint. The ratio I did was about uh, I added a quarter to a third of paint thinner to whatever amount of paint that I had. First layer. I added a little bit too much paint thinner to this uh, coat, so it was a little thinner than I needed it to be. I added more paint as I went along in the second coats. So some things that I would have changed if I would to do it if I were to do it again would be I wouldn't have gone so extreme on removing the paint. It kind of added little divots in the uh, in the van side. I would have just given it a simple sanding buff. Nothing too extreme would have done well. As well, I only did three layers of paint because that's all I really had time to do. When in reality when I was recommended to do between eight and 10. Around three, it started to look pretty good enough, but I'm, I'm, from my experience, I would say five to six would have probably made it really sleek and nice, and then you can always give it a nice uh, buff after. I didn't do that. But this is how it turned out doing it the way I did it, which was really half-assed because I was in a hurry, but I think it looks a ton better than the original anyways, so it worked out for me. So that's the end for how I painted the van. Now I'm gonna show you how I built my bed frame. So I wasn't exactly too sure what I wanted to do for the bed. I knew I wanted it to go along the side so I had room for a sink and everything else on the other side. I wanted it to be like a futon where it was a couch and then it would pull out into a bed if I needed it just because then, just because then I don't always need the full bed because it is a double. I can leave it in couch mode and just fall asleep whenever I want to, like a single bed. And then it still gives me space to uh, put my feet and like roam around. So I saw different ideas online for how people built theirs and I kind of just mixed and matched until I made it work. I uh, kind of just get figured it out as I went along. I had to find places to bolt it down because I was bolting it to the floor but that was just into uh, three quarter inch plywood. So I needed something in the steel frame along the side, which I ended up did finding three spots for it and I put really large bolts in. So it's really sturdy right now, it doesn't budge at all. I made this backrest here. It kind of was an accident how that it like can collapses down. It wasn't originally supposed to, but I found it was more convenient that way to leave it. And then it's just bolted down around the legs. So it just slides out right now. And then it can slide back in. I'm gonna fill storage underneath, but 
that's pretty much all there was to do with the bed. So the reason this video took so long to get out was I had it all recorded. I didn't just do this the other day. It's been done for a while. Uh, I just didn't have time to edit it. I had so much going on, so much last minute stuff to figure out with this trip that I just got so busy trying to make sure everything was done that I just figured I would start doing more videos when I got on the road. And then I just started having to take everything in. The whole new aspect to how I live is completely different.